Hey there guys, I am The Six Machine and welcome back to another Warhammer video. I know it has been quite a while since I've, I've done a video, but the new Warhammer 40k 10th edition cinematic trailer was released actually a week ago, I believe. It was about a week ago, last Thursday, um, and I haven't watched it yet, which has been a monumental bit of willpower on my part, I think, but I really wanted to record my reaction to it. And I know it's a bit late, everyone has sort of seen it already, and I have seen a few sort of screenshots and screen grabs, unfortunately, but I have not watched the whole thing yet. So I've been away in Japan, I only got back a couple of days ago, so I really wanted to record my reaction to it. So I've been holding out and it's been really, really, really hard. But I'm really excited to watch it from the, the screenshots I've seen, it looks amazing. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into this brand new cinematic trailer for 10th edition. I am super hyped. Hello. That's Gilliman. Victory. Victory. That is what the preachers cry from the wow. spires of their temples. What commanders tell the soldiers in their service? But the Emperor. The Indominus Crusade meets with triumph after triumph. Good, that's a good sign. Day by day we tear Imperium Nihilus from the despoiler's grip. And though we are beset on all sides, with each battle we drive back the mutant. The Tyranids. The heretic. The alien, the Xenos. The alien. <laughs> Oh. Nice. A nice reaver there. As I speak these words, our forces engage the remnants of Leviathan. Oh, that looks so good. Okay. That looks like the Black Templar Flamer. Um, so Reclaiming a new, lost worlds. New Flamer unit? Atoning for old shades. Almost looks a like crusade a... to cleanse the stars. <laughs> Taking the fight to the enemy. That's his screen killer. That was his bioplasma. Oh shit, that's insane. That's so cool. That was a missile Laz Redemptor. That was a missile Laz Redemptor. We the Tyranids at Baal. We broke their high fleet. Soon, their foulness will be but a memory. Oh shit. That is what the preachers say. This cinematic goes hard. This is so good. This is so, so good. You dreadnoughts. Relief. Oh, Relief that's the teleport us. homer. Here we go. Lies will not protect us. It is our hope that will damn us. Here we go. <laughs> They're so good. So good. Yeah, baby. I love Terminators. New librarian. I don't know what that was. The slums. Shrike. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. That's a new unit. Our people sing of victory. Victory. As the galaxy burns, victory 
as the Imperium rots around us. Victory as humanity rages against the dying of the light. <laughs> I am in awe of this cinematic. Victory. Victory. Oh, holy shit, that was so good. That was insane. It was such a long cinematic as well. Like, they really, really went all in with sort of giving it a, a load of story and background to the cinematic as they introduced all the new, new units. I saw a load of new units, and I know a lot of speculation has been going into what is going to be in uh, this box, or at least what is going to be released with the new edition. We've got the new um, Flamer, you know, version of the Hellblasters kind of thing. I can't quite tell if it's a combi Flamer or just a regular Flamer. There was one shot that made me think maybe it was sort of like a combi Flamer. Shades. Thing. Um, we obviously got the new Dreadnought. I want to find the Dreadnought because that, the Laz Cannon missile launcher version of the, the old um, old pattern, you know, the little box Dreadnought, was always my favourite. So seeing that option available on the Redemptor now is uh, super, super cool. Like, that's just very awesome. I really hope that means that there's going to be more sort of customization and it's not just going to be like the uh, the Redemptor or the Brutalis. There's going to be a way to sort of mix, you know, the claws and maybe a twin Laz Cannon or whatever it may be and, and just give you more, more customization in them. And we saw a few new HQs. We saw what looks to be a Gravis Armored Apothecary. We got to see a new Terminator Armored um, Librarian. We got the new Terminators, of course, which just look fantastic. Let's watch them come in one more time. But it is yeah, it's definitely a combi, combi flavor. That will damn us. Yes. If only they were Deathwing. <laughs> so good. And obviously we know that they are not... Primaris Terminators, they are just Terminators. You can say that they've got Firstborn or Primaris in them, so the new upscaled size doesn't matter too much. Um, I do wonder, because I always thought that the, the Onslaught Gatling Cannon was going to be a replacement for the Assault Cannon. It looks like this is an Assault Cannon, not an Onslaught Gatling Cannon, so I do think the weapon options are going to stay the same as what they are now. I think it is literally going to be the Terminator kit that we know from today's game, just upscaled. Um, but we got the new Terminators, we got the new uh, Librarian, there'll be a new Captain, although I don't know if we saw, saw him. Victory. There's a Captain. The Victory. There's a Captain um, in Terminator armor, so it looks like it's going to be Captain in Terminator armor, Captain uh, Librarian in Terminator armor, some Terminators, some of these Flamer, um, Combi Flamer dudes, maybe a Dreadnought. Um, maybe an apothecary, that kind of thing in these. And then on the Tyranid side, we got obviously the new Gaunts that everyone has seen, the new Termagants. Um, there's this new thing, which looks to me like it's some kind of Victory. Zoanthrope the... or what's the Malanthrope inspired design? Uh, so let's have a bit of a look at that. Because they just look awesome like that's a really cool can i get a bit yeah, there we go with two little friends with him but that looks like a um it looks like the old zone throats of second and third edition which had legs rather than floated but um we're still kind of really cool that looks like the head design is the same as that so we've got a new kind of zone or psychic unit we've got the the screamer killer obviously you can see it with its four claws and it fires its plasma. Let's see it firing plasma. To the enemy. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Um, there is the new, what looks to be either a Shrike, so either a unit of Shrikes, which are the Tyranid Warriors with wings, or a new, like, Tyranid Prime-style unit. 
just a winged one. Uh, where are we? Let's try and find that. Oh, we got these guys as well. And I don't... Oh, is that just two... No, they're definitely... They're definitely not gaunts, because they look bigger than gaunts, but they're not, like, super, super huge. I don't know what these are, but that's maybe two new units. They look almost sort of the size of what you would expect, like, a Tyrant Guard or a Hive Guard to be. So, I don't know what they are. But there is a load of new stuff coming, and that cinematic in general was just fantastic. I loved hearing Gilliman's voiceover. I loved hearing him sort of, like, describe the state of the galaxy and how, sort of, good slash bad everything was going. I loved seeing this, which I believe a lot of people thought was Sanguinius. That actually is the Emperor um, accepting the surrender of one of the, the Warlords as he was conquering Terra way back before, you know, everything got underway with the Grand Crusade. So that, I think, is the gate that leads to the Emperor's, well, leads to the Golden Throne. I think this is Gilliman standing before that gate, um, which is kind of cool. This whole cinematic just oozed sort of a load of narrative and like style in it. It was so well done. Definitely the best cinematic GW have ever done. And if this doesn't get you hyped for 10th edition, I don't think there is much that will. That was absolutely fantastic, but I have waffled on for over 10 minutes now, so I'm going to leave it there. Suffice to say, that was well, well, well worth waiting the week for because that was so good, so fun to react to. I will definitely be watching that a few more times just to pick out anything else that I can see. It does give us a good idea of what we might be able to expect in the starter set in terms of the, the Ultramarine or the Space Marine side and the, the Tyranid side, and they look to be fairly hefty sets like we had with Indominatus. So there is a lot to look forward to, but as always, I would love to know what you thought of this trailer any hints or easter eggs or teasers that you noticed that maybe I didn't see, and also what you think is going to be in the 10th edition starter set. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below, and as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I do apologise, it's been such a long time since the video, but they will be back on target now because I'm back from Japan, and also my PC is back, and fingers crossed, it seems to be fixed. So hopefully there will be no more periods where I have to go away while it's being repaired. So that's really good news. But um, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you later, guys.